Little Red Riding Hood Murder, also known as The Murder of Muriel Drinkwater. Born July 19, 1933, Muriel was the youngest of four sisters. On June 27, 1946, 12-year-old Muriel took the school bus home. Muriel was last seen at 2.30pm, walking towards the one-mile path home. The path she took wove in and out of the woods. Her mother saw her walk along the path and into the woods, but she did not see her daughter walk back out. When Muriel did not come home, dozens of people searched for her. They even searched the village, but could not find her. Muriel's body was found the next day by a policeman in the woods. She had been raped, beaten over the head, and shot twice in the chest. Police found one of the murder weapons two days later. It was a United States-issued World War I era pistol. A description of the perpetrator was circulated. Male. 30 years, thick fluffy hair, brown corduroy trousers and light brown sports jacket. However, he was never found. On July 2nd, 1947, Muriel was buried at St. David's Church. Over 3,000 mourners attended the service. In 2003, the case was reopened with the aim of finding DNA evidence on the weapon, but was unsuccessful. In 2008, investigators were able to extract DNA evidence from a stain on Muriel's clothes which were kept in storage. In 2010, the records and archives of the case were closed off to the public. Scotland Yard felt this would be able to help police catch the perpetrator. Hopefully one day, Muriel Drinkwater will get the justice she deserves. Hi everyone, Sinister Shaf here. Thank you for watching and, as always, stay sinister.